Can you say hi to the camera? We haven't done this in a long time. Hi. Hi. Yeah. So Davey is 16 months old now. He can go play. Go play. Um, I don't know if he's going to let me do this at all because he is really interested in the camera. Yeah? Um, I haven't made any videos in a while for one reason or another, uh, partly because I have been writing a book. Uh, my book is about creativity and motherhood, and it's going to be called The Maker Mama Manifesto. No, no, Davey. <laughs> um, but I had made notes a long time ago about registry favorites and things like that. So I thought I would try to see if he would let me film a video today. Um, the book I will update you on later. I'm still in the editing process. But um, basically, since I've become a mom, I found myself wanting to make different things like pottery and less on the YouTubiness also, you know, as an introvert who has an extroverted baby. I find myself using a lot of my social energy on him um, and not feeling up to doing these videos quite so often. But I thought it would be fun to pop in if you would let me. Can you see Mama in the camera? Look, there's Davey. Who's that? It's Davey. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, if he will let me. Yeah? Are you going to let Mama make this video? It's questionable. So I... <laughs> I'm going to first go through the notes I made on second and third trimester essentials. And as I mentioned in my last update video, I had a lot of back pain, both during pregnancy and after. And at that time I was trying, well I still am, I tried the chiropractor and it totally got rid of my back pain. I've never used the chiropractor before and I really wish I'd tried it while I was pregnant. You can do it while you're pregnant. and. My back pain was so much that I couldn't stand for more than a minute without severe pain. And my midwife kept acting like it's normal, but some people like are actually able to function during pregnancy, so it's not to the extent I had it normal. <laughs> um, so if you're having back pain, that is something I would definitely suggest trying. Um, also on my list, I had um, migraine headaches. And so, because I couldn't take the medicine I usually take for that, um, I could put an ice pack on my head. <laughs> so I put ice packs. Um, no tie shoe, and I'll link to all these things below. Oh dear, he wants to chew on the like, oh no, the strap connector thing. Davey, put that back out. Mama needs to see where the framing is. <laughs> As you can see, this is why I haven't done it lately. Um, in the beginning, it was like sleep deprivation, and now the baby wants to play with the camera. Davey, come over here with Mama. I know, it's all like very interesting, isn't it? He's found the flap with the... Uh... Are you going to be my cameraman? Oh. <laughs> so let's see if we can get through a couple of these videos today. Um, no tie shoelaces. Um, yeah, <laughs> at a certain point you can't reach your feet and those were a lifesaver for me. Uh, also a tub deepener. I didn't know these existed, but you know the little drain thing in your tub? They make this plastic thing that will go over it and it has a hole where you can still let the water drain out, but you can adjust like how, where to put it. I got another couple of inches out of my bath depth from that which I, I still use, but I really enjoyed when I was pregnant. Um, I have on my list the belly band. That was the only thing that I did that did help my back pain when I was pregnant. I do think the chiropractor would have helped a lot more, um, but that is an idea. I'll put a link to the one that I used. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are gonna have a very up close view of Davey, huh? Can you tell what Mama's doing? We're talking to the camera. Um, also I took a hypnobirthing class and I haven't like got into how the birth went, but it was a fairly positive experience. Only a couple things went a little off. They always do. I ended up with like a different doctor, um, who didn't really know what my plan was, but because I had a doula, a doula, yes. So that's another thing. Um, I would definitely recommend a doula if you can afford it. 
Um, but I will link to the hypnobirthing class I took, which really, really helped me understand the science of birth and not be afraid of it. Um, it's been so long. Oh dear. You can play with other things, but maybe not the camera. Is it too tantalizing? You can look at it. Is that mama? Say hi. It's mama. I'm here and in the camera. Um, so I'll link to the hypnobirthing class. Um, maternity jeans with like the stretchy band. Definitely another lifesaver. <laughs> Let's see. Where am I on my list? A wedge pillow. I tried a lot of different pillows. I'll link to the only one that really helped me. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Mindfulness apps. There's one in particular by a Scottish man called Andrew Johnson um, for pregnancy. And I really, it, like, I basically fall asleep every time that I did it. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, Hello Bello immunity gummies. They, like, first of all, taste really good. Plus, it's great to boost your immune, immune system, especially now. Um, they're, what are they? Not black currant. Elderberry, I think. Um... They taste like candy, but they're really good for your immune system. A heating pad, which obviously you have to be careful about when you are pregnant, like how hot you get it and where you put it. Um, but that was especially helpful after as well. And um, during the birth, I wanted uh, fuzzy socks, which I packed because lots of people said to, and I didn't think I would want them. But I used a robe, I wore a robe over my hospital gown and some fuzzy socks. So. And a headband to get my hair out of my face. That is it. If Davey hasn't turned off the camera from the backside for this video, I'm going to see how many he's going to let me record. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how distracting he's going to be, but this is it if I'm going to do it right now. Um, after I finish kind of these videos, I'm going to start weaving in more about creativity and art. Art like in a wide sense, which includes all kinds of making not like fine fine art in a snooty way um, I consider like writing to be art and photography to be art lots of different things are art aren't they and I really want to make some videos about his favorite books because that's what he's obsessed with at the moment don't you, love book? you love books don't you so can you say goodbye that's the end of this video maybe we'll make another maybe say bye 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 Bye-bye. Good job. Okay, thanks for being my cameraman.